In Canada, the probability of a mother completing her high school education while raising her children is 91%, but that number drops by 17% if the mom is in her teen years. Well, in 2008, a coalition of churches along with World Vision saw the need to create a safe place where moms who had never attained their high school diploma could go to school during the day and have childcare provided while they focused on their goals. Since 2008, 73 moms have graduated what has been called the Role Model Moms Program. In 2009, Toronto City Mission and outreach to some of the neediest areas of the city adopted Role Model Moms and recently celebrated with 28 moms as they graduated from the program with their GED. And we have a picture of that we're, that we're going to show you right now, of those moms celebrating. Well, today we have the Executive Director of Toronto City Mission, Dave Addison, joins me today, as well as Faustina Martin, one of the recent graduates from the program. Welcome to you both. Welcome. Welcome. What a great program, Dave. Tell us about how Toronto City Mission got involved and why you wanted to uh, be a part of Role Model Moms or have it a part of your program. Yeah, Toronto City Mission was working with uh, the Jane Finch Church Coalition to uh, um, help bring this program to the community uh, that was most impacted by poverty in that Jane Finch, Jane Shepherd area. And uh, there was a need for a little bit more structure mm -hmm. than that uh, collaboration of, of churches could provide. So Toronto City Mission um, uh, was brought in and, and effectively adopted uh, the program uh, in 2009. And how do you feel personally about being able to oversee, I mean, an incredible program that is um, life-changing because I think of being able to uh, change a mom's life and the ripple effect that that has throughout a whole family. Yeah well I've had the pleasure of being the executive director just for two years mm -hmm. but in that time um, one of the things that we did was rewrote the mission statement through God's transformative power we build loving relationships to bring hope to children and families impacted by poverty mm -hmm. and this program I think is uh, where there's most evidence of lives transformed by the grace of God and um, uh, and that's I mean it's an incredible incredible opportunity I, I just I thank God every day to be in, a, in this position of, of servant leadership uh, um, and it's one of my most proud programs yeah, yeah. I had the pleasure of uh, kind of seeing role model moms in in operation a number of years back we did a story on role model moms and Faustina and I met so many moms like you who just wanted to focus on their education for their children tell us your story and how you got involved with role model moms well actually I came to Canada in 2011 and I decided to um, make Jesus my number one priority mm. and how I became, how I get in touch with um, role model moms, my sister, my sister's the one who got to know them before me. So when my sister went to do the, the entry exams, uh, she came back and she told me there's this program I can get into. So I went and that's how I get to know role model moms. And I hear that you were kind of like, you were a star student. Oh. <laughs> I heard that oh. from the teachers that you just really focused on your studies, that you really wanted to improve. Tell us about what, how much education you had before and why you needed to be in this program. Okay, well, my upbringing, I was a school dropout mm. and I didn't have the chance to go to school. I was a school dropout at the age of eight years old. Mm. And when I came to Canada, I just wanted to get back, go back to school and to get a better education because it's really hard without having an education. Um, when I came to Canada in 2011, when I went to the agency to fill out a form to get a job, I couldn't fill out that form. And God has taught- Because you couldn't read the form? Yes, I couldn't read the form. Mm. And God has taught my life around mm. from that day. And I am here. And you have children in St. Vincent? Yes, I and have. So they were kind of also your motivation for doing this? Yes, they were also my motivation. I can remember when my son will comes home with his schoolwork. Yeah. I didn't know anything, mm. but I kept, 
um, pushing my son because I know I never had the chance to go to school. My son will come home, comes home with his homework and I will say to my son, son, this is not right. It is not right just for him to get a good education because I know I didn't have any mm. and I want something, my son to have a good education. I didn't know if my son educate, I didn't know if the my son homework was right. Yeah. But I push my son still to get it right. And my son will say to me, mommy, it's right, it's right. Mm -hmm. But I am saying no, because I didn't know if it's right, so if it is right or wrong. So you've now completed the program. And I mean, you've graduated, you're now going to college. Yes. So you, you have just blown the doors wide open. You're like, here I am. I now know how to read. I now have an education under my belt. And you have some goals now. What are yes. your goals? What do you want to do? Okay, one of my goals is to write a book okay. on my life. Mm. I just want to let people know how good God is. Mm. Because without God, nothing is, nothing it's possible. Mm -hmm. With God, everything is possible. And God has really turned my life around. And I just want to say glory to God. I just want to big up my daddy, Jesus. <laughs> I love him. And also, I want to thank Toronto City Mission. They are, I mean, God, I see them as angels. Mm -hmm. God placed them in my life for an ex for for them to uplift me because long ago, I never had no self-esteem. All I kept hearing people saying, oh, you're no good, you're this, you're, well, well. And then back, back in 2011, when I went to role model mom, there is a, she's an angel, Shelby Hall. She, she's one of the teachers? Yes, yeah, she inspired me to believe in myself. When I didn't believe in myself, I didn't believe that I can do it. Shelby keep pushing me. She said I am a scholar, but I don't believe so. She saw, she saw something in me that no one else could have seen in me. God bless road model moms, and I pray that God will continue to bless them, bless them abundantly, mm. so that they can continue to bless um, the young moms who dropped out of school, who didn't have the chance to go to school, and to pursue their education and being a, a source of support for them, you know, because without without them on also on my side, I couldn't I couldn't have never make it. And Dave, that's, that's ultimately why you guys do what you do. I mean, Foskin is a perfect example of what can happen when you bring a community around. It's really just bringing community around and saying, we're gonna take care of your childcare, which is huge. We were just talking about that. Um, we're just gonna help you. How, t talk about the, how important that is. Yeah, I think, um, uh, as Christina said, the, um, uh, it's being in relationship with, um, uh, with these, um, mums, some young, some old. We have one who was uh, actually a grandmother uh, who, who was just committed to getting her education before her grandchildren uh, uh, graduated and, like Christina, wanted to help them with their homework. Um, but it's, um, it's about uh, meeting them where they are mm. and, uh, uh, and helping lift them up. Um, but praying, mm -hmm. uh, as an example, that's not, not every woman who is in the program is a Christian. And, um, and we have people who are Muslim. We have people who are not of faith. And, um, and our teachers, Shelby, will, will sometimes say, is it okay if I pray with you? Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and just to lift up uh, by, by the Holy Spirit. Uh, is uh, incredible and sometimes it's just about believing it's um, believing in themselves uh, you know maybe they don't yet believe in a God but they believe in themselves uh, and then uh, uh, incredible things can happen and lives do transform. Now I know when I first uh, encountered role model moms you had one location and it was in a, in a Toronto City uh, municipal building yes. but now you've gotten local churches involved and you're housed in two separate areas of Toronto. So explain that. Yes we're uh, running out of Ephraim's plates uh, the Church of the Nazarene uh, near Jane and Shepherd 
Uh, and, uh, so still in the Jane area. Yeah, the Jane Finch mm -hmm. location uh, or community. And then our second location is in Victoria Village Flemington Park. Uh, and it's at uh, Wilmer Heights Baptist Church. Uh, so, uh, and formerly uh, the Victoria Village site was in East Toronto Chinese Baptist Church. So our, our church partners are critical for, uh, for running the programs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how have you, you know, Faustina, as I said, is a perfect example. But how, I know that you're the executive director, but how have you seen maybe some of these moms transition and their families yeah. also just transform with education just being yeah. made available to them? Well, we uh, um, this summer just uh, graduated yeah. uh, 21 moms uh, and we had a an awesome uh, graduation ceremony uh, that uh, uh, their kids were all there. Uh, and it, it was in, you know, with a lovely stage and the gowns and uh, uh, it started to happen. The, ch the kids started to run up on the stage while the moms were getting their uh, certificates. Mm. And we just, that's so natural for, uh, for the program that we didn't stand in the way and, and say, well, this is a ceremony, you know, it's just, um, watching those kids who were so proud of their moms and the moms who were so proud and the parents that were there. There was one particular family, uh, Talissa was a graduate and her mom was there and her children were there. And she had two kids by the time I think she was 15. Mm. And um, so having that, watching all of that uh, energy, that pride. Mm. And now one of her uh, children is in our program in Flemington Park and recently accepted Christ as his Lord and Savior. So, uh, and Talissa, we were able to hire her uh, to work um, in Toronto City Mission uh, in the program for Role Model Moms. So that was her first real job, getting her off of social assistance. Mm. Um, and it's just, yeah, watching a life transformed and unfolding and uh, by the grace of God. So it's, it's awesome. There's so much more to talk about, and we were out of time. I can't believe it. But thank you again, both of you, for sharing your story. Faustina, you are definitely an inspiration. I think many people watching will be inspired by your story. And Dave, if people want to get in or find out more about Role Model Moms, how could they do so? Uh, TorontoCityMission.com is our, uh, our website. Uh, all the information uh, is there. And if someone wanted to phone, it's 416-922-6223. Last message that you would give a mom watching that wants to get an education and is feeling like, I'm not sure if I should or, or can do it, what would you say? Very quickly. What I would say, I would just like, from my point of view, just encourage them to believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. Because if they don't believe in themselves, who will believe in them? Who will help them to believe in themselves? You have to trust yourself and believe in yourself. Well said. Thank you again.